Okay, so I had a huge grocery order this morning, so we're gonna go through it. Uh, probably not super in depth because I'm not taking everything out, but you should be able to hopefully see everything. But I wanted to share with you all the stuff that I stocked up on. We just got back from vacation yesterday and I had a food order delivered at eight o'clock this morning. So I am really happy to have my fridge full and my mom is going to be here in less than two hours. So there's stuff in here for her and my grandmom as well. So uh, this morning I got the hard boiled eggs. I take the yolks out and I just eat the white part. Got that from my mom. Mike's in here for my grandma. I actually have been getting these Gatorade Zeros. I don't drink them often because I do try to just drink plain water because I find that even if it is zero sugar, I tend to just want to drink these and not regular water and I drink less water. So these are kind of like a treat. Same thing with like Zivia sodas, which by the way, I have to add some in here for my mom, but I try not to drink them every day or, you know, in the daily at all, because again, I'll drink less water. Yesterday I went to Aldi and I stocked up on almond milk, has some sweet creamer, tons of these Chobani yogurts. They are my absolute favorite. They were on sale. So I stocked up and I got a bunch of strawberry sugar-free jello, only 10 calories, love, love, love. I do have a like low calorie cheat code video coming soon, hopefully. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. I have some ratio um, yogurts as well back there, some more jellos, <laughs> got some pickles and these I absolutely love. They're only 140 calories, it's the Laughing Cow, and it has like the cheese and the pretzel. Down here, I have some lunch meat, some ham, some Cooper cheese, which is our favorite, and then this uh, pepper Colby, Colby Jack. It is so spicy, and I love, the, love this cheese on my breakfast sandwiches. And then when I went to Aldi, I got three packs of Canadian bacon. I have some Beyond Sausage for my mom and regular sausage for my grandma. They had a really great deal with cheese. It was like spend 25 and with the delivery I got $15 off. So it was a great deal and it was also part with the oat milk. So it was like phenomenal and sour cream. I also got part of it. So I got a lot of cheese and then some stuff from Sam's Club back there. And then also I have the Sam's Club pork, shredded pork. Oh my God, it is the best thing in the whole world. So I do have that. I have egg whites from Aldi's and salsa all the way in the back. I've been obsessed with salsa, don't even ask. I could have had it when I was keto, but I've just been really obsessed with it. And in here, yeah, I mainly got today shredded cheese, but I've had this ham and this is like amazing if you can find it because it is so low fat, low calorie and very high in protein. And then this morning I cut up, I had three packs of romaine lettuce, so I cut all of that up. Definitely get a salad spinner if you don't have one and five pounds of strawberries, which I have all that prepped because I know my mom and grandma will enjoy that as well. And I have like my drinks in here. I still have to try these. I've had this for a while. I had these for a while in my fridge. Some Bang Energies, Sparkling Monster, um, Love Bubbly and Aha are my favorite. And if you've never tried these Zivia teas, they are the most phenomenal thing you will ever have. So that is a quick little overview. I didn't want to take it all out because that is just a little crazy, but I, my husband made fun of me for how many yogurts I got. But how I feel with stocking up if you come back from vacation, if your fridge is full, you are going to get right back on track the very next day. That is a good tip. If you have struggled getting back on track after going on vacation or having a cheat day, make sure your fridge is stuck. Okay, so it's gonna be a little hard to see in the freezer, but we got a lot of stuff. Um, got my mom some gardenia, like, you know, like the fake chicken, whatever, plant-based uh, vegan stuff here. And my grandma eats that as well, so that's really good. Uh, this, I got some sweet Italian sausage and hot but it's the chicken sausage, so it's a lot less calorie. Oh wow, it's organic too, go figure. So I got two and two. Um, I figured my husband and I will eat it and also my grandma. I love having these. I know they're not the best thing, but I really love having these on hand because there's just some mornings, well, basically for lunch because I don't eat breakfast, but um, 
I don't eat until like 12 or 1 o'clock. But anyway, there's just sometimes I just wake up and I just want them. I don't know why. I just, I love having them on hand and they're super cheap. So if you're on a budget, there you go. Um, I have some chicken. What else did I get today? I We stocked up on Omaha. So we have a lot of kibasi and sausages and hot dogs. So we stocked up a little bit ago. I have some 647 bread in here, but I only buy the Keto Aldi bread, which I'll show you. Got a lot of the NYX ice creams today. If you don't know about these guys, for the whole pint, it's only 290 calories. It's really low carb, very low sugar. Again, Ben and Jerry's, we're talking a thousand calories for a whole pint. I don't even, I maybe eat a third when I do have the ice cream. So I got all different flavors. They were on, they were like pretty much almost 50% off and there was a dollar off coupon. In the back there, I had the Tyson Black and Chicken Strips. They're really great. They're really spicy. I love the buffalo, but I think they upset my stomach. So I think after that bag is gone, I don't think I'm going to be eating them again. I think it makes me feel sick because every time I eat them, I'm, I'm not feeling hot. And I it has to be that because that's just what I keep narrowing it down to. So there's that. And I also have like tons of broccoli in here. Um, but yeah, there's a tons and tons of meat in here from, and veggie, frozen veggies as well from Omaha because we stocked up. But that's pretty much everything that we got today. And um, this is also ground turkey, which you can get a really good deal at it at Sam's Club. So definitely go to Sam's. If you don't go to Sam's, go to Sam's. And then I have some turkey burgers that have been there for a while. But anyway, that's what we got today. All right, so coming on over here, I also got the six for seven muffins because these are great. I like to put a little bit of butter or strawberry um, jam on top that's sugar-free. I love them. Or use these for my breakfast sandwiches. I am taking a little bit of a break from my breakfast sandwiches <laughs> because I've been eating them every single day for like four months. I mean, it's been seriously since March 2nd. I've been almost having a breakfast sandwich every single day. And I think I might finally be getting tired of it, even though it's the most easiest thing to meal prep. And it's so easy when I get up in the morning, start my day, and then, you know, comes time for my first meal. It's just so easy because I pre-make everything. I just have to assemble it. But yeah, love those. These I found at Aldi's yesterday and they are zero carb. So they're better than the low carb ones. And they're also less calories. So I'm going to see how these do with uh, making quesadillas and I have some sour cream because I have didn't have sour cream the last quesadilla I had and it just wasn't the same <laughs> um, But yeah, so I'm excited to try these. There's not that many in here. There's only I think six and then I have these out because I'm gonna use them, but I didn't Get these today. These are technically expired, but they're still fine I probably should put them in the fridge just to keep them uh, more fresh a little bit longer, but I got these at Sam's. It's a huge pack, but they didn't crisp up when I made my quesadilla. My quesadilla was still so flimsy, even though it was like brown, like any longer it would have just burnt. So I don't know if you guys have a trick with these, let me know, but I probably won't be getting those again because I want something that I can use as a quesadilla and as a wrap because I don't want to have to buy two separate things. So I'm going to try these with my quesadillas, the Aldi, uh, toast up the best even over the mission the keto wheat bread I got two of these love I do love the six for seven bread but this is just as great and then I got some bananas and then I got some stuff for my mom and then a little thing for her dog Leo when we went on vacation all right guys so we are in my walk-in pantry i'm not going to show you everything because to be honest i just don't want to be judged but <laughs> if you have any questions definitely let me know i just organized it because my mom is coming today and i just went for her and my grandma to be able to come in here and be able to find things because my grandma loves to come in here and find some goodies <laughs> so i tried to lower some things for my grandma to be able to reach and all that so I just wanted to share with you kind of how I have it set up, kind of the snacks that I have in here um, and that sort of thing. And maybe you guys can get some ideas to try some new things because I love watching pantry hauls, fridge hauls, or not hauls, but tours to see what other people are eating and get ideas. 
more so than watching recipe videos or even like what I eat in a day, I prefer watching grocery hauls because then I can figure out how I want to eat that. You know what I mean? Like recipe videos don't really help me out just because I don't really make recipes. I'm very straightforward with my food and I just... I don't make it complicated. I'm very, very simple. And honestly, if it takes more than 15 minutes, I'm probably not going to eat it. So <laughs> um, unless my, hus my husband cooks dinner and I make my lunches and that's pretty much it. So for me, you know, around 12, 1 o'clock when I eat, it better be quick or it better already be meal prepped because I just like it fast. So let's get started. So down here, okay, I have like three shelves here. I would love, love, love to do a custom shelving in this pantry because it definitely has the room for it and it probably could be way more beautiful than what it is right now, but we're going to deal. Okay. So don't judge me on anything. I would really appreciate it. So anyway, this is my built bar section. Just restocked it. And usually when I get the boxes, I try to fit it all in here, but obviously I'm not going to be able to fit it all. So, uh, yeah, tons of flavors. We got the granola, we got puffs, we got it all. And then in here, I just put these in here just to get rid of the boxes, just so I, that way I can condense my pantry and make it a little bit more organized. But yeah, love, love, love. I even got the little peep or not peeps. I'm sorry. The little yellow chirp puffs that are supposed to mimic a peep. But yeah, I got the Built Boost back there. Got the Mud Pie that I just got the other day. I got some Power Crunch. That's the lemon. I like Power Crunch every now and then. The only thing is it is high in calorie and high in carb. So it just depends what I'm eating for that day. But sometimes I just like a little switch me up. And honestly, I love a wafer. Like, you know, those vanilla wafers, they are my jam. So that kind of gives me that like same texture and that you know, handles those cravings. We got another box of the Chirp and then I have some Alani. I got these a while ago. I think I only ate one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm trying. Everyone talks about the Alani new bars, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. It, they're just a little too hard for me and it kind of like hurts a little bit, but you know, let me know what your favorite flavor is if you like the Alani new. Um, got some Siete chips that are open, some Catalina Crunch, uh, George loves this with almond milk and eat it as cereal. Love, love, love. And then some pork rinds. Love these Fiber One brownies. If you love the Tasty Cake bar, like the brownie one, the chocolate chip one, it, they taste exactly the same. I mean, it's just insanely crazy how low calorie and just you can have two of these for less the amount of calories and sugar as the Tasty Cake ones. And so those are the fudge brownie. I have the birthday cake and then I have the cinnamon. Oh, so good. This whole basket is a bunch of lilies. When I was at Sprouts a while back, these lily chocolate almonds were on major, major, major clearance. Like I would be stupid not to stock up and I did. Have some gummies here. I have a light and cones, some of the granola and then a huge bag of almonds, tons of birch benders, a chocolate chip and regular. They are so delicious. I really need to start eating this stuff up because I don't want it to go bad or expire. And I just haven't had it part of like my meal plan basically <laughs> in the last few months, but I need to start eating that up. I don't know if it's keto. I don't think so. Oh no, eggs. Never mind. I was going to say, cause maybe my mom can have some. Maybe my grandma might want some. Anyways, the Kodiak, uh, carb conscious, pancake mix and then I have some oatmeal as well. I have the Swiss mix that is reduced calorie so it's low sugar. It has sucralose as the um, sugar replacement so it's low sugar and low calorie. So I thought that'd be great to try but I haven't tried it yet and I've had it for a while. Some tea, some Hello Kitty stuff but we're gonna come back around to that. But yeah, so all the built, I have like my Chalk Zero maple syrups. The Birch Menders one is just as good. And then this is like a mishmash of a bunch of like loose things. Or again, I just want to get rid of the box. So I just put them all in here. Some Quest Bars. I really like the pumpkin pie. Really, really good. Another Alani chocolate cake. This was just a one-off that I bought. And yeah, so just a lot of things. You know, usually it's not this full, but since I was organizing today, I just wanted to get rid of some cardboard boxes. And yeah, so we got some mackerel, anchovies, some granola bars, salt and vinegar almonds. Is that almonds? Yeah. A bunch of lilies. I don't really eat lilies anymore. I haven't had lilies in a really long time. I was really big on it when I was keto and I would literally fit it in every single day in my macros. 
but I haven't had it in a while and I believe a lot of it is vegan so hopefully my mom will have some. <laughs> Some mixes here from Kawaii Treats, some popcorn, oatmeal. My mom was like, please have some oatmeal. So I don't think she can have all of these different flavors, but definitely this she'll be able to have. Some rice cakes. These are the best taco shells of life. Make sure you get them. They are so good. No matter which way of eating, they are amazing. And then I have some of these taco shells and they're only 20 calories for one. Insanely crazy. I have some rice. I purchased it when I went off from keto to anabolic lifestyle, which is high protein. And I'm high protein, low carb and low fat. But I haven't put this into a meal plan. So I haven't had it. And yeah, I don't know, for being keto for so long for two years, I don't miss pasta. Like I don't miss any of those like things that people think that we miss. And yeah, clearly, I purchased it, I could totally eat it. I just don't. Up here is like my baking section. So a lot of it's from like Christmas when I was when I would bake. I'm probably gonna make my grandma some cookies to take home with her because she loves the uh, Italian cookies that I make. But yeah, so there's that stuff. And then I have like Hello Kitty pasta. I have like some soup up here. It's kind of like, I think I purchased it back, you know, before when lockdown happened or maybe during, I don't even know, just to have it on hand. Then a box of pasta I'll probably use when my grandma comes. But yeah. And then I have a bunch of cheat food up top, which I'm not going to share with you guys. And then I just, I just have a ton of other stuff, which honestly, I don't want to sh share with you all what my pantry looks like because it's a, it's a little much and I don't want to be judged. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.